Today we are visiting the Saints, a city uh, which is located about one hour from uh, La Rochelle. It is quite close. It has very uh, rich medieval and uh, Roman history. And we are going to visit a lot of interesting places today. And after that we are going to spend a couple of hours in Rochefort, a city uh, bet located between Saints and La Rochelle, and which is known for its uh, military history. Let's go! Like many other places in the nearby area, Sant uh, has historical connection with Celts and in fact was named after a Celtic tribe of Santons. So if you think it was uh, named after some saint, uh, no, although it was uh, historically on a pilgrim route uh, to Santiago de Compostela, and because of that there are a lot of churches there. It's an interesting place because it is located at the crossroads of several cultures – Celts, the Romans, the French and the English. And it really feels very different uh, from the neighboring cities, as it has a number of architectural styles from different periods mixed together. One example of such style is represented by the Arch of Germanicus, which was built about 2000 years ago uh, at the time of the Roman Emperor Tiberius. Sant was the capital of the Roman region of Aquitaine at the time and was one of the most prosperous cities in what is now France. The arch was almost destroyed in the 19th century, but survived due to the intervention of the famous French writer Prosper Merimet. As we only had a couple of hours in Sant, we could only see a few places of interest. To do justice to the town, uh, more time would be needed. We started with the Abbey of the Ladies, uh, shown at the beginning of the video, and after crossing the river Charant, uh, we had a look at the Cathedral of St. Pierre, and then went to see the upper part of Sant, especially its ancient Roman amphitheater. The amphitheater is really old. Like the arch, it was built under the Roman Emperor Tiberius about 2000 years ago. It is actually the oldest surviving example of a structure of its kind in the whole of France. Uh, when in use for gladiatorial fights, it could accommodate about 15,000 people, almost the whole population of Sant at the time.
another interesting fact. José Ignaz Guillotin uh, was born in Sand. Although he did not actually invent the guillotine, uh, he actively promoted its use because he wanted people to suffer less uh, when they were executed. Apparently, he was not very happy that the device started to bear his name. And on that note, uh, we move to the second part of our video as we rush to the station to catch a train uh, to Rochefort. Rochefort is much more modern than Sand and it's all about military history. It's an excellent example of a 17th century Ville Nouvelle or planned city as it was basically built from scratch to accommodate a French naval base on the Atlantic coast. At the time the area was constantly attacked by the English and a secure base was needed to build and host the French fleet. La Rochelle was much more exposed and in addition it was a bastion of Protestants, so the French royals did not trust it very much. On the other hand, Rochefort was well protected as it was located in land about 15 kilometers up the river. A major highlight of Rochefort is Hermione, a frigate moored at its arsenal dockyard. It is a replica of a frigate on which the French general Lafayette sailed to the United States to help it in its war of independence. The arsenal of Rochefort is a very interesting place, especially for people interested in military history. In the 17th century, it was uh, the largest shipyard in France, where several hundred ships had been built. It's also relatively modern, uh, it was only closed in 1926. It still has several dry docks, which can be used for the repair of the ships. But what we also liked a lot uh, is how pleasant the area is for walking around. Sometimes it felt more like a park than a former dockyard. It also reminded us a bit of the Greenwich area in London. When you are in the Arsenal area, you will definitely notice the former rope factory. It looks really long. It had to be built that way because of the way the ropes are manufactured. In fact, for many years it was the longest manufacturing building in the whole world. Although we saw several dry docks in Arsenal, we spent some time looking for another one called Le Vieille Form. On first glance, uh, it looks like another dock, maybe less impressive than those we already saw. But as it was built in 1669, it's actually considered to be the oldest dry dock in the world. So although it was quite difficult to find it, uh, we were glad we did. So overall we had a great day both in Sand and Rochefort, although we felt a bit rushed at times. We definitely recommend visiting both places if you are in La Rochelle. In fact, uh, during the summer months it might be a good idea to stay in Rochefort instead of La Rochelle as a base to explore the nearby area as it may be less expensive and more quiet. In our next video we will show our visit to the famous French town of Cognac, uh, so stay tuned. <music> 